Ryan, a big reason behind the second half resurgence by the Perth Lynx. Lovely pass from Lauren Scherf into Atwell. There's the assist. Good screen and, a, and that excellent pass by Lauren Scherf. Nice start for the Perth Lynx. Whittle hoping to get an early assist, and she does. Equally, equally good pass, just a little back door. Defense took their eye off the ball, and Whit Whitcomb. And these two teams, well, the Lynx have actually won four of the past five games between these two sides as Talbot rattles it in. If you're Nat Hurst tonight, Laurie from Jacinta Munro. She does. She needs to get really involved in the boards. Nice drive by, wow. Somebody going to play some defense out there. <laughs> Has Scherf ahead of her. And then outside, Steph Talbot is hot. What was great about that, Steph Talbot. For too long here, Simons receives from Munro. Whittle, mid-range two, drops. She's confident in that shot. Nice little pull up. Nat Hurst would be very pleased with the start of her club so far. Potentially an early timeout coming for Ryan Pedrick. Although Robbie Ryan works her way inside and gets the lucky roll to break a run here. Ryan averaging 18 points from her last four games has really lifted her output since the turn of the year. Munro, another mid-range two. They're feeling at the Adelaide Lightning. Blocked out Lauren Scherf, did not give her a chance to look at that old board. Simons, mid-range two, that drops as well. All too easy, and finally Ryan Petrick pulls the trigger on a timeout. From uh, where she left off to start her night as well, 12-point lead for Adelaide. Scherf goes to work and gets the love off the glass that she was after at the start of the game. Mansfield gets the screen from Munro. Pick and roll action was on and then Mansfield was fouled and will head to the line for a three-point play opportunity. Was using the screen, used the re-screen, got by her defender and another mid-range. I'm just astounded how Perth have come out in this must-win game. Yeah, this season's on the line. I mean... Credit to Adelaide, they're shooting it, but... but And a big defensive play there from Robbie Ryan to give Perth the ball. Scherf now plays point guard. Ryan coast to coast. In. Coast to coast for Lauren Scherf. They're lucky she's on the court right. Certainly, uh, you know, instead of playing a 5-3-4, maybe. <laughs> Robbie Ryan drives through, and finally a couple of stops for the Lynx. Four rebounds for Munro in this quarter. Lovely reverse attempt there from Mansfield. Didn't drop. That's five rebounds for Munro. Add two more points to her tally. Terrific start to this game by Jacinta Munro. Mackenzie clinch Hoycard comes through and lays it in. WNBL clash. Indigenous round continuing. Wickham trying to find Burrows. Burrows lost control. And Whittle has so much speed. And there's a hand in there from Sherr. It's in good hands. Wickham feeds it to Scherf. If it wasn't for Lauren Scherf in this quarter, who knows where the Perth Lynx would be? Perth, we know, can pile on oh, points yeah. quickly. Oh, yeah. And so, uh, you know, even there you can see oh. that was just a little bit more effort. Straight to Badish. Cabillo for Basham. But authority steps into the key and gets the, another mid-range two to drop. They've got to address that mid-range. And I know sometimes coaches say, look, we'll, we'll, we'll pick our poison. We'll take away the three. We'll take away the drive. And we'll, you know, give them that mid-range shot. Perthland's got a beauty. I feel like she's underestimated a little bit defensively. Whittle. Nice shot by Whittle. She's shooting that ball with confidence. Adelaide continuing, continuing to respond to every Lynx challenge. Burrows almost put out the arm there, but the spin was awesome. She lays it in for another bucket. And the Cubillo, unsurprisingly, contributing to the fast break basket. Atwell tried to lob it in for Bibby, who lost control. Three on two situation. Whittle, wow. what a finish. Scherf back on the floor, almost had it knocked away from her by Munro. Atwell finds a way through, drives along the baseline, gets her own rebound, lays it in. Good second effort by Atwell. Sharp, puts Cabillo to work, gets the two, and will head to the line for an extra. All class, Alex Sharp. And that's what she can bring when she comes off the bench, that speed, that agility. Mansfield was always shooting that. She's got a lovely three-point strike. We've seen this season, she can get hot. She makes seven three-pointers early this season. And Bibby! See, now that was a quick release. She came off of that. There isn't, exactly. 
Sure. But Bibi, can she make it three of three? She can! Yes, she can. Now you might as well keep going to her. She's hot. She wants to shoot it. Showing her form from deep tonight, Chloe Bibby. She's three of three from three in this term. Talbot responds with a mid-range two. Thought about the three. Wickham. Inside four, Scherf. Mismatch here on Talbot, and she banks it in. Great job when they do play with that spacing. And With all the hard work there, Adelaide didn't quite come off with the glass. Oh, not again. Four of four, Chloe Bibby! Yes! Quarter by this young gun of Aussie hoops. Wow, I mean, she's just come out and changed the, the, the game around. We have that the one round, but it's obviously trying to have the, the continued awareness and engagement with the community on Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture as adventurous. Did have some pretty tight defense on her, but when you're hot, you're hot, I suppose. Well, I think when you've got the green light, when she shot that many, she has the uh, option and Good answer by Marina Whittle. High scoring game, 46 43, still at three minutes left in the second quarter. Ryan sets, drives, pulls up for the mid range two, and it's 46 45. Um, that is just not going to cut it, and so you want to be fine tuning right now. Munro, mid range two, drops. Ryan for Bibby, for Scherf. Talbot not letting Bibby put up that three there as Wickham finds a way through him. That was a, an easier layup attempt and she was able to finally get one to drop. Ryan for Wickham for Scherf. Puts the ball on the floor and Bibby catches and shoots and hits a fifth triple for the quarter. Wickham and Ryan collide. Bibby puts up the three. Oh, oh my, my goodness! goodness. <laughs> wow. We cannot say enough about the way it's 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 in transition those shots, the confidence yeah. that has. Taking the watch at the other end, a terrific response from Lauren Mansfield who can respond. Uh, seventh. Seventh, yes. Too many numbers flying around at the moment as Whittle bursts her way through. Lovely move inside and she lays it in. Talbot drives hard. Just opened up for her. An easy two points for Steph Talbot, who's up to 17. Scherf sure, for Ryan. And with the left hand, another layer. So some easy buckets for both teams early stages. It's almost like how he started. With three-point shooters, but here they're doing a good job of sharing the ball a little bit. That, that's her range. Munro. Four of ten from the field tonight, Jacinta Munro. She's up to eight points to go with five rebounds. Scherf cutting in for Bibby, who this time does her work underneath the basket and gets her first two-pointer of the game. Allows an opportunity here for Wickham. What a pass. Scherf, great patience shown underneath the rack, and the Lynx starting to get some rhythm on offense. Steph Talbot picks it off. She's in the top ten in the WNBL for steals. Munro, pick and roll. Too easy. I thought, almost thought she was going to dunk there just into Munro. She went to the rack. Try and get a screen from Scherf. Scherf screaming for it inside. Munro read it well. Then a quick release from Atwell, who knocks down a triple. Turnover almost by Bibby. Great hands there from Whittle to win it back for Talbot, for Munro, and another two for the import. Pretty fancy on offense is Sammy Wickham. Scherf v Munro. Been a terrific battle all night, and Scherf wins out this time. Gets the two to go. Laurie mentioned it just hanging around the Adelaide Lightning. The four point differential. Wickham steps back, and that is Sammy Wickham at her bet. Keep her eyes on that for the rest of the, the quarter and the game as fatigue starts to set in. And that is Sammy Wickham. She may have got a sniff. Cagey, she's so good at her craft uh, to get weave her way in. Whittle, long range, well short. She might have had a second crack here, Marina Whittle. That time she connects from long range. Big game for Marina Whittle, 17 points. Last five games, she had been really awesome. But speaking of awesome, Sammy Wickham is in her natural habitat now. Not only from three-point territory, but a player that always seems to live in the second half of games, Sammy Wickham. Simons, oh, there she is. She read that superbly, Wickham. Gets the steal and the two off the fast break. So he uses her really wisely. 
She's played an inspired third quarter so far, and there is an inspired pass to set up Lauren Scherf and a 10-point lead for the Perth Lynx. Putting pressure, putting them under the pump. Wickham finds a way through. She finds Clinch Hoycart. Another dime for Sammy. That's what she brings to the floor every time she steps on. Lovely crossover from Wickham. Finds a way through with the right hand. She has played an inspired third quarter, Sammy Wickham. And nicely saved there by Sharp. Gives them a fresh 14 seconds, the Lynx. Wickham. Kicks it out, and Robbie Ryan hits her triple. Grits the teeth. Kicks it out for Simons. Can't get that one to go. And they can't keep it alive, and it's all Perth Lynx heading towards the offensive oh. the floor here. Lovely pass. Unselfish from Wickham. Clinch Hoycart hits the two. In fact, it's the seventh time this season that Perth have hit 90 points in a game. In the corner, Bibby feeling it again. For Cabillo. Can't get the three to drop. Whittle comes up with the offensive rebound and takes her tally into the 20s. I think if you're going to give them four opportunities. Yeah, it'll be fascinating to see how Ryan Petrick kind of ass assesses this game in the, in the wash-up. And that is awesome athleticism from Robbie Ryan. Um, so, you know, those, those players play big minutes. Sammy's a veteran. Nice move. Marina Whittle takes her tally to 23. Another big night. What a... Burrows thinks about the three. Works her way inside. This is where she does her best work. Lovely pass for Collie Bibby. That was a picture-perfect pass. It just went right to Bibby's hands. It was really strong. Want to back off Simons. Has Gandini, who's just slipped onto the floor and can't quite make the immediate impact. That's a terrific rebound by the Lynx. Monroe hands it off here for Talbot. For Simons, who got the start tonight in the absence of Brook and Borlays. Mansfield. Never gets old watching Lauren Mansfield nail a triple. Tonight, Chloe Bibby with 29 points and a 7 of 9 from three-point land. Clinch Hoycard. Whoa. Bank is open. <laughs> Can't take it to 110. And that is the end of Perth's best offensive game of the season. It didn't look like it after quarter time. They only had 18 points at quarter time.